I'm Sandra, the creator at Sing Play Create, and today I'm sharing some Thanksgiving music and movement activities. I'm sharing activities that you can use in a pre-K through second grade classroom. These activities are geared for the younger children in elementary school. I'm going to lay out this video just like I would a lesson plan and go into each activity in depth so that by the end of this video, you'll have a complete Thanksgiving music lesson plan you can use in November. The activities will include songs, the steady beat, and a rhythm stick activity along with movement activities. I hope you subscribe to this channel for weekly updates and videos on music and movement activities. Let's get started. You're gonna be able to find all of these activities either in a YouTube video or in the Sing, Play, Create free resource library. The first activity is a little turkey song. It's Five Fat Turkeys Are We. I like to start class with a song to get everybody into music land with me. Sometimes I use a guitar, sometimes I use a recorded accompaniment, or I might pull out my ukulele so that I can walk around the classroom, or I might just sing a cappella. It just depends on the song and what class it is. If you want to play it on ukulele, the chords are very simple. They are C, F, and G7. Back to C. So you could also use this to teach your upper elementary students a song on the ukulele. This is how it goes. teach the children the hand actions. It's just pretty easy. We're just going to be turkeys and we're going to be standing up with our turkey feathers. Five fat turkeys are we. We slept all night in a tree. And then we're going to look around the whole room. When the cook came around, we couldn't be found. And they can duck down or hide like this. We couldn't be found. So that's why we're here, you see. And then I do just a little bit of pretend play here and I tell them they can strut around and I count down from 10 and be turkeys. 10, go, 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 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. They have to be back on their dots. The first time I do the activity, I'm teaching it to them, so I will show them what to do, and I'll be a silly turkey, and I'll move around, and then I will get back on my dot before I say 10, and then I have them do it with me. You can use a drum for the countdown, or just clap your hands and walk around, smile, and have some fun in the turkey yard with your kindergartners or your pre-kinders. Another way I might do it with the children is just to grab that hand drum and I might just sing it with this five fat turkeys are we while they're singing and moving like the turkeys and then I'll have something ready for the ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back on your dot. That's just another way you can do the song. So you can sing it a cappella, you can play it on ukulele, you can grab an instrument, and that will add some dynamics to the music lesson. It also keeps everybody on their toes what they're listening for. Are you strumming 10 times? Are you playing this 10 times? What are you going to do for those 10 times? So you set the expectation for them. They have to be back on that dot and be down in their little turkey pose by the time you say number one. The next activity is turkey body percussion. And this is a video activity that I'm gonna use on the Sing Play Great Kids Music channel. But it's also available in a resource if you're interested in purchasing it in my TPT store or on my website. And you can go there and get those. And I have put the links in the description below for those of you who wanna use it either way. Whenever I do a video, a YouTube video, especially with a steady beat or a rhythm play along or body percussion, I take my time the very first time going through what is the expectations. I don't just push play and have them do it. So I'll start the video and then I'll have them model each action in the video like you can see and I'll have them show me that action. I might even grab uh, my hand drum for the very beginning of the activity especially if I'm doing pre-kinder and kinder and it's 
you know, we're not that far into the school year yet with them. So I'm going to pull out my hand drum and I'm going to say, okay, let's do this action and we're going to do it for eight beats. Ready? Go. One, two, and nice and slow so they can keep up with you. And that is all going to happen before I turn on a video for them to try and keep up with. That would be way too much for them and then they might get frustrated and you might lose your engagement. You want to keep engagement high. So you need to keep the tempo of your lesson age appropriate or that group appropriate. One class might be able to turn the video on. Like first grade, you've already taught them in kindergarten. They're going to be able to turn that video on and do it right away. But your kindergartners you might want to take that extra baby step. Play the steady beat with them on each action individually, as you can see here in the video. And then you can maybe even the next class time turn the video on for them to give a try. Or just do a short section of that video. We finished doing our steady beat body percussion and now it's time for us to sit down and do a little bit of a listening and playing learning activity. So I have two different activities that are in the free resource library. One is just these rhythm cards that are on leaves and there's also turkey ones, Thanksgiving dinner ones that you can get. These have notes on them. Some of these even have uh, solfege notes on them. You can get these out and do a whole class activity using your board. Now we're going to use the board and do a whole class activity the first time because we want to then set our students up for success in a station activity uh, the week before Thanksgiving. So we can take the cards and just put magnets on them. You can put them on your board and then put three in a row and then have students come up and choose the fourth one. Then you have them say and play the rhythm. And I would just have the whole class play that rhythm. And just have students come up and let them choose a card. And then they can uh, put it in any of the blank space. So you might leave beat one, three, and four open. And they would replace beat two. And that would be the mystery rhythm. Have them play the rhythm. And then have everybody go gobble, 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 gobble. Four times, gobble, 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 that's it, and then close your fist. So they can do that after they play one rhythm, and just play that for a couple of minutes. This activity is for a little bit older, I would not use this in pre-K and kinder, but I think your first grade, second, and you could even do this activity in third grade, uh, would like this, write a turkey rhythm. So then you have uh, some pencils, you have the rhythms, you could use the flashcards, and put those up on the board, just kind of scatter them out, and then you have the students choose a rhythm, write it in their little turkey hat, and then you can cut strips. You'll need to have this all ready to go. You can use the color one, or there is a black and white one, and have them color the turkey. And then we're just going to put this on our head like this, and it's going to be stapled. Use the other strips to staple it. And then there's some games that we can play with the turkey rhythms. They're so cute and the kids really, really like this activity. There's three different ways you can use this, probably more, but I'm going to share three with you. The first one is have everybody put their hats on and have them stand in a big circle. Uh, the outside of the circle is the farm and then the inside of the circle is the barnyard where the turkeys like to stay because that's where they get their food and that's where they get to play. When the music starts, the turkeys are going to go into the middle of the circle, gobble, 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 and when the music stops, then they get to stop where they are, freeze, it's like freeze dance, and then they're going to, the closest person they're going to look at, and then they're going to try and play each other's rhythm for them. And I like to encourage them to clap it and say it. And then they do it to each other. So they're going to read person A and person A is going to read person B. If you have an uneven number, you might need to play the game or you can just quickly put someone in and say, sometimes there's going to be three turkeys together and just put them together. If you have like 30 kids in your class, if you have a lot of students, it may be too complicated with that many. So all you have to do is have half the class sit in the circle. Every other student sit down and they can just pat their knees to the music and then have only half the students go in the circle. 
they do the freeze stance thing and then they come out and then the second group gets to take a turn. So if you want to break it down so you don't have quite so many people in the middle, you can even divide the class into three parts. That might be less chaotic for you. And then you can always do a steady beat pat on your knees in between going in the circle. So you can extend the activity into a little bit longer time, even up to 10 minutes, by breaking the students into groups and then adding in that steady beat activity in between. Or if you're doing it with second grade, choose a rhythm, put it on your board and tell them in the in between parts, they're gonna all play that rhythm to the music. They're gonna play the ostinato to the music you've got on. There's lots of ways to differentiate that game for a kinder, even up to third grade. They like writing the rhythms, they like coloring the turkeys, and they definitely like the interaction. So you might need to tweak some of the management parts of that activity to suit your students and what will work best in your classroom. If you need help with those ideas or you're stuck, maybe I can help you. Go ahead and leave a comment below. Or if you have a really good idea that you've done already, please share it with us. We would love to hear about it. Okay, there is a blank one of these headbands in the free resource library. And the other game is to actually print these on different colored paper so that the students try and match up with their color. So you could print them on a rainbow of colors and then when the music stops, they have to find the other green and like that. So you could do that to play the game. And then you could also put the colors in groups. And so all the green turkeys would be in one group and you would just have them sit in a group and play each other's rhythms. Then you could say, okay, green and yellow together. And then you could do that. Or reds and browns, whatever colors you printed these on. That would be another way to differentiate this activity. Another way to play the game, and I think third grade would like this game, is have one turkey in the middle. And the turkey is gonna dance to the music while everybody pats the beat. And when the music stops, the turkey is gonna spin one, two, three, and land on another turkey, and that turkey's gonna jump up and everybody's gonna play that turkey's rhythm, and then they'll trade places in the center. So you could play that game, it's a fun choosing game, and keep everybody on their toes. Of course, we're always looking for the best musicians to take a turn being a turkey in the middle, and we want everyone to participate, so be sure that you're clapping and saying the rhythms, you can have them echo the rhythm of the person that goes in the middle, or you could have them play it three or four times. Lots of choices here with that kind of game, lots of flexibility to adapt it to what your class is doing that day. We've had fun playing a turkey game, and now it's time to do a movement activity. And the one that I have chosen for this uh, set of activities is the turkey lurkey. It is just the hokey pokey. Uh, change the words to we do the turkey lurkey. So you can do this with your younger students. They really like it. I like to go through all the body parts first with the younger ones, especially if you're doing it with pre-K and K. You put your right wing in, put your right wing out. And so I'll go through all of the words with them and do the actions. And then when we do the turkey lurkey and we turn ourselves around, show them how to go all, all around. That's what it's all about. Gobble, 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 gobble. And then we'll do the next part. You put your left wing in. And then I do the whole turkey at the very end. You put the whole turkey in. You put the whole turkey out. The whole turkey in and shake it all about. You do the turkey lurkey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. And if you want to, you can go yum, yum at the end. Or all the turkeys can run free. Go on, go on, go a little crazy at the end. So the turkey lurkey is a video on the Sinclair Create YouTube channel. Um, and it also is on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple music and it's a resource if you want to have all the materials that go with that activity. Now we can pick up our instruments and have an instrument activity and I'm going to be using rhythm sticks. We're going to use the Five Fat Turkey song that we sang at the beginning of class. So I will review that song and have everyone stand up and sing it. 
Life After Kids Are We, they sing it through, and they'll have them sit down, and then I'll give them some rhythm sticks. You can adapt this lesson to really focus on the steady beat, or you can add in a rhythmic ostinato, which is in the free resource. What I do first is have the students just play along on the steady beat. I either sing it and on the ukulele while they're playing, or I prefer to be playing along with them, and so I like to use a recorded version of this song. You can find that also on Spotify, and I'm sure there's some other versions around, or you could record yourself ahead of time just so you have the sound going and you can focus on playing rhythm sticks. The first thing we'll do is just tap the steady beat to the music. Five fat turkeys are we. We slept all night in a tree. When the cook came around, we couldn't be found. So that's why we're here, you see. It's pretty easy. You could do some fun things with it. You could do an overhead. You could do the right to the left and have the students follow you. If you want to stick to the steady beat only part of the activity, that would work really well with your kinders and your pre-Ks. So you can go down, in the middle, then up, to the middle, then to the right, to the middle, to the left to the middle. And you could do very simple motions for them and see if they can follow you along just using the rhythm sticks on the steady beat. If you're using it with a little bit older children, then you can give them an opportunity to play an ostinato. So the ostinato is going to be tagged to the end of the line. Um, it's, it's just another part, really. It looks like this. Five fat turkeys are gobble, gobble, gobble. Slept all night in a gobble, gobble, gobble. When the cook came around, we couldn't be found. So that's why we're here, you gobble, gobble, gobble. Rest. So that's the ostinato, as you can see. Uh, that's in the freebie uh, that you can get in the free resource library. And so you can have the students then break into two groups. And you can have one group just playing that nice steady beat. Five fat turkeys are we. And the second group is going to play the ostinato part and say gobble, 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 rest. And I do give them, you know, the motion for the rest. Uh, everybody does a little differently, but I just have them go out like this, rest. Gobble, 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 rest. Slap down gobble, 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 rest. So I give them what they're supposed to do so it's very clear to them and they're not confused and practice separately. And then you can divide the class into two groups, have them play the parts, and then you can switch the parts. Finally, you can add in a third group, divide everybody, divide it into three groups of students and have one group stand up and do the five fat turkeys are we. They do the little actions and then have your steady B group and then have your ostinato group playing. I like the sound of shakers on the beat for the steady beat in this song when I'm putting it with the rhythm sticks. You can use a drum. I just like the sound of the shakers because it reminds me of the feathers ruffling. So I would give the students a shaker to play the beat and then we would use the ostinato, uh, we would use rhythm sticks for the ostinato. Now it's time to do a movement activity and we're going to have three different choices here that I've got. One is called Do the Turkey Dance, and it's actually a dance like a turkey. The other one is to do Turkey Freeze Dance, which they might really like to do. And then there's Turkey Scarf Activity. And scarves are a great movement activity because they can really get the feel of a turkey and the flowing. And so for me, that's probably the one I would choose is to do scarves after all of the rhythm and the steady beat activities. If you run out of time or the kids are just too tired because there's a lot of movement and busyness engagement going on with these activities, it might be time for a story. I did go and find one that I think would be great to use. It's called There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Turkey. 
and you can find that link in the description. You could have the students sit down and read a book. There's lots of different turkey story choices. I even think there's a five fat turkey story book that you could use and that would be a really nice ending to this music and movement activity all about turkeys and Thanksgiving. I hope you found this video useful and it will help you with your November lesson planning. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's really appreciated. Let's keep kids moving and learning with music. Sing, play, create.